G'day YouTube. What we're going to do today is we're going to use our Plaster Paris mold that we made for our dash. What we're going to do with this is we're going to try and use polystyrene. Okay, just not any polystyrene. This will be polystyrene foam. So what we're going to do is we're going to convert that into polystyrene. Basically what we do is we just this is my um, acetone what we do is we want to have a clean clean polystyrene foam and all we do is we just put it in just like that what we're going to need is we're going to need milk bottle this is the three litre milk bottle basically what we need to do is we just need to have somewhere to put our mould for the excess so it's easy to clean up I love these I love these HDPE um, milk bottles. Simply fact being is that since HDB is chemical resistant, it's pretty good. All right. Basically, what we're going to do is put our mold in here. Then we're going to put the plastic, in, the the melted polystyrene. Well, the melted polystyrene foam, and we're going to put it into the mold. Next step. Okay, so basically, what we have to do is we have to get our um, polystyrene, and we're going to put it into the mold. This is rather slimy. And we'll just let it drip into the mould. And settle in the mould. Maybe we might need to push some of it in. It's a bit stringy, this stuff. Just put the excess back. <laughs> Gets everywhere, really. Just wash your hands back into the acetone and it'll get rid of most of the other stuff. Right now, so what we're just trying to do, push it into the mould. Try and make sure it gets in there. So we've got a good good coverage in there. And what we're going to do is we're just going to let that dry. We'll let it dry naturally and we'll see how that goes. So what I've done is I've just put it into the sun and let it naturally set and we'll check on this in about a day or so or when it's dry and we'll see what it will turn out like because the mold isn't isn't that great because we've had a tinker around with the mold before it won't be fantastic but this is proof of concept right thank you bye yeah, it's been 24 hours since I've um Put in the uh, melted um, polystyrene, the expanded polystyrene, I should say. It's hard on the outside, but it's rather gooey on the center. Still rather soft. It's 
you can easily press it with your finger. I think that's going to take a while to dry. I'm going to try and speed it up by putting it in the oven. We'll see how that goes. I just put it in the oven for about five minutes about 180 degrees or 90 degrees it's gone rather interesting interesting light almost like it's reverting back to uh, extended polystyrene quite interesting though yeah. Put it back in, see what it looks like. I've just taken it out of the oven. It's been in the oven for about 10 minutes at 190. But what it's done, as you can see, it's expanded. It's, ex it's expanded. It's gone rather hard. It's still quite well, warm to touch. But yeah, it's quite interesting. So what we'll do is we'll let this cool down. And we'll see if we can take it out and see if that that helps. Yes, interesting. It's quite hard on the top. Oh. And now hopefully that's gone through into the mould as well. All right. I've just cut off the top of the um, cut the top off our part. Right, okay. After being put in the oven, what happens is it expands. As you can see, there's there's an air hole here. All right. Well, anyway, basically that's that's come off. That's useless. And basically, we're stuck in the mould. Now, whether it that whether it's my fault for not spraying it, or maybe it's just meant to be a um, disposable mould. Once off, then you just crack it or break it. Yeah, so once put it when you put it back in the oven it expands up it's bad. It expands back up into almost like a polystyrene state, but it's not polystyrene. Okay, they're like air holes. Anyway, I might just break it and we'll um have a look at the end product. We're now about to break our mould, our plaster Paris um, mould. Did that break? No, not in the least. Just took a bit of the corner out. Gonna get it to the with the hammer. a bit loose here and it's basically cracked in two 
Hmm. Alright, so what we'll do is we'll keep going and we'll just see how the mould was even see how it was moulded. See if it's any good as actually putting it in a mould, using it as a mould. just not actually hitting on the actual part but hitting beside it Out of that, yes, not the best, just all just broken. Would we have been able to glue it together or used it? No, we've had a closer look, or possibly. When we mould it, it actually put a better spray so we can actually get it out of the mould. I'll chip this bit off and we'll see how this one looks. Yeah. Not the best. Mould just. Scripping on for dear life, I tell you. Scripping on for dear life. I think that's that's a fail. In the end, this is the result of the failed attempt of using the expanded polystyrene as a material to mold to put into a mold into a plaster Paris mould possibly some release would have um, helped to get it out but as you can see is there any detail? No. Right so moral of the story is don't use extend, expanded polystyrene Yeah.